Hello again. Um, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make this Canadian lip fin. This one is originally mine. I'm not sure if anybody else had this idea or anything. I did draw this one that's on my desktop at the moment. I did do this one. So first we're gonna start off with the lip picture. The lips aren't mine. As pretty full as they are. Pretty full isn't even a word. But I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste this. So copy it. Open up Photoshop. I have Photoshop CS5. So I'm gonna open up a new file. And for this one, the thing is gonna be the width is 500, the height is seven, uh, 375, and the resolution is uh, 72. Click OK. Now you're gonna click Control V and just do that. Now what you want to do is go back and then I'm gonna take a Canadian flag. Both the links are gonna be up um, in the description box so you guys can use the same one I did just in case. The thing automatically changes so it's gonna be the width is gonna be 601 and the height is gonna be 302. The resolution is the same. So for this, I'm gonna open that. Control V. Now what you wanna do is click over here. It's the little transformer tool. And then you're gonna just click it and drag it up. Like hover over this. Then just go like that. And then put that right about there. Yep, right over there. Uh, even that out. There you go. Now, you just want to go over here and click that. Go to overlay, click overlay, and it's just going to look like this. So, let's make this even. Just close that up a little bit. Like that. Now you're just going to go to the brush tool right there and click here. You're going to go with the first one. Just click some, any random one you would like. Size that up to whatever size you want. Just be careful. While erasing, you're going to go to the eraser. Sorry, you're going to have to go to the eraser tool. It's going to be the same thing if you clicked it already. And just going to go like that. Just erase around the lips. It's okay if you guys erase a little bit on the lips because it's going to just look fine. Like, as you guys can see, I did that over here. See, I erased off the lips. And go back up to Photoshop. So, you can both go ahead and do that. So make sure it's like that. Um, now what you want to do is not to forget this part over here where the teeth are. I'm going to side that down so it'll be okay. Sorry guys, my laptop is kind of slow so it's going to lag a while for a while. I'm sorry. Um, just going to go like that. Now you're going to go back to the lip layer, layer 1, and just get any random brush and just start coloring on it. Um, I'm using a tablet, that's why you guys hear that random sound of, yeah, I'm just going to go with that. Now, making sure everything's like that, I'm going to go back to here. Um, you're going to go to the eraser tool and click this button right here. I'm not sure if this is for all the photoshops that there is. And you're going to go down, scroll down, and click the special effect brushes. Click OK. Click this little guy right here. 
and size it up to whatever you'd like. Now you guys just like can hover over this and click. See it's gonna have this really cool effect. When I first showed this to my mom, she looked she said it looked like water. I guess it does, but not sure. For me it looks like a burning effect or something. Now I downloaded a, a brush. It's called the Ultimate Paint Set, so I'm just gonna go here. It doesn't matter if you guys don't have it, that's okay. So I'm just gonna click that. And get a random brush. Just make that nice. Yeah, click this. Yeah, this is good. Set that down. Um, I'm not gonna have the link for you guys to download the brush because I don't know where the link is. Forget it. I'm sorry. Click like that. Make sure it's not too similar to everything so it looks really nice. This makes it look like it has a ripping effect, and it looks pretty cool. Um, so this is the end of the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope this helped, I guess. And then, I'm not sure if this idea is actually mine, but I don't know, I just thought this up and made this. Also, um, please like, favorite, if this helped you, or if you like it, or favorite it, yeah. And definitely comment on it and tell me if you guys have anything else to, you'd like a tutorial on. I might not be able to do it, but we'll see. Um, you guys can choose any sort of flag. It doesn't be have, to, have to be a Canada flag. I chose the Canada flag because um, I'm Canadian, obviously. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And um, yeah.